Have you ever had those evenings where you just couldn't sleep and you don't know why? Have you ever been so embraced on a thought that makes you just say, it's best for me to get up and do something productive? That's the type of night it is. Welcome to Chronicles of a Nonprofit, episode 49. This is that night. You know, there's so many things going through my head that I don't even know where to begin. We had a wonderful time at the community center's birthday party. And I was able to connect with some very nice ladies who empowered me, inspired me. It made me feel as though all of it was worthwhile. Everything, all the planning, all the event processing that took place to make that a community project, it was worth it. Shout out to Miss Pat, Miss Audra, um, CC, Hawk, and so many others that showed up. I mean, you guys, thank you, thank you, thank you. I also want to embrace a topic today that is just on my mind, and it is being mindful of the people we surround ourselves with when we're dealing with any type of leadership, you know, relationship, entrepreneurship. Welcome, my shining entrepreneurs. Today is your day. Today is your day that the destiny is going to reveal to you a lot of the intricate workings of what is going to make your business grow. So be on the lookout for that. Empower yourself to do at least 15 minutes of meditation before you wake up and uh, make sure that you keep positive affirmations and positive words within your thoughts before you go to sleep. It's just that energy. It's that vibe. It's that energy that I feel I need to do something with business development right now, okay? So when we talk about relationships and entrepreneurship, when we're meeting new people and as they show up, we have our protective armor on at the onset. And then sometimes people, if they know that, they'll know how to work it in later on down the line. So we must be mindful of that as well. We must be mindful of the plots and traps that can be set. Now, I'm not talking about individuals who come through and they are really genuinely there for you to support you to help you but I'm talking specifically about the entrepreneurs that look at these individuals with a tinge of discernment and that discernment triggers them there's a reason why the trigger is there there's a reason why there is a barrier that seems to clog the relationship at its onset. You'll start to see things titled red flags. You want to pay attention to that, entrepreneurs. You want to pay attention to the words that are being said. You want to pay attention to why uh, individuals show up when they show up. And then you want to be very cognizant and aware. And I know you guys understand this, but I'm just reiterating it to you because it is a destiny's time to restate it for you to pay more attention to it. And for those who are not paying attention to it, this is an awakening to let you see that these are the things that must be considered when you are dealing with relationships and business because people can sabotage your future and just to laugh at it. Okay, so 
being mindful of the people that surrounds people coming to you. It, sometimes it's your circle of individuals that kind of produces the future of the relationship when you meet that person. Who do they know that you know? And if you had that positive relationship with the person that they know, then it's all good. But what happens if you had a triggering relationship, a relationship that made you think that something just wasn't right? And what if they're friends with that person or that group of individuals or those individuals who stopped you from being successful or who tried to participate in the acknowledgement that, you know, you don't have to participate with them because, you know, you're not of the same cloth or you're not of the same character. There comes a time, entrepreneurs, my shining entrepreneurs, that you got to elevate yourself and sometimes you got to do it by yourself. You got to do it alone. You got to do it afraid. You got to do it scared, you know, uh, um, intimidated. You got to do it all those ways and still do it. Erica Mason, she's a wonderful inspiration you know, in the music industry. And that's what I want to talk about. I want to also talk about those relationships, those men who have been part of your past. They're in the past for a reason. Leave them there. Leave them right there. Don't pick up on junk that you threw away before and try to make a man out of it or a woman out of it. To help you. Yeah, I know they have certain quality traits that make us really attracted to them at the time we're attracted to them, but then they out, we outgrow them. So there is no going back. We always move forward focused. So when people try to bring up your past relationships to distract you, to throw you off guard, to make you emotional, remember who sent them. Remember who they know. Because that could be the very thing that saves you a lot of hell in the end. Also, kindness goes a long way. Sometimes we can be so kind entrepreneurs that people can forget what they even came for. Oh, <laughs> know this. This is a pre recorded audio that I just want to put out there because. I had a sense of get on the podcast and just say something productive because it moves me. You know, when you go back and you listen to yourself, and this is why I feel it's very important that any entrepreneur or leader who empowers others, they should have a physical public channel where people can go and listen to them on all areas and all thoughts, what what they do with their personal life, what they do with their per, uh, hobbies, what they do with their professional lives. All of it should be documented so you can get to know the person personally, you know? So that's what I wanted to get on to say tonight. I will be back one this Monday. And I think I'm going to have a special guest come on to talk about the highs and lows of business and what they do. I'm just, I'm really excited. I'm really, really excited. And I'm grateful that you all have joined the podcast and listened to this pre-record. Um, that's really all I wanted to say. I haven't been able to rest at all, but I think I'm on that journey now. So I'm about to put this on submission. And I will see you guys in another episode. Peace. And as always, keep it 100 and we'll see you next time.